This is a linear relationships video and I shot one on parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same gradient as each other. They have the same slope. They have the same rise over run as each other. Let's have a look. Here's a line y equals 2x minus 1. Now the gradient of that, the slope of that, we'll have a look at the rise and the run. It rises 2 and runs 1 rises 2 and runs 1. Now 2 over 1, a rise of 2 and a run of 1. Now 2 over 1 is a fraction. We don't really need to write the 1 in and that's why that equation, that linear equation that we have here, has a 2 in front of the x. That's where we look for the gradient section of a y equals mx plus b type linear equation. So that's the gradient there. Now let's have a look at another line with the same gradient. Here's a line, it looks like it's parallel, like parallel lines never meet, they go in the same direction and never meet, a bit like train tracks, that certainly looks like train tracks to me. And so let's have a look at that one a bit more closely. It's got an equation of y equals 2x plus 3. Now, can you see already that um, it's got the same number, 2, in front of the x. That's in the gradient position, so it certainly looks like it's got the same gradient. It's got a different y-intercept, though. But just uh, let's concentrate on the gradient for a moment longer. It has the same rise over run. Uh, the first line, you will remember, it rose 2 and ran 1 to get back to the line here. Once again, this uh, y equals 2x plus 3 rises 2 and runs 1 to get back to the line. So we've got the same relationship between the rise and run and the same gradient there. Now it's got a different uh, y-intercept. This one has a y-intercept at minus 1 on the vertical axis there, hence that number there. This second line goes through the y-axis, the vertical axis at 3 plus 3 and that's why we've got a plus 3 there. So you can see the quite nicely there the two elements of the the uh, linear equation format. Let's have a look at another one. Oh this one down here, it certainly looks like it's the same direction as the other two and we have uh, an equation here y equals 2x minus 5. Let's explore that a little bit further. Now if it's got the same gradient it should have the same rise and run and, and according to the arrows here we've gone up 2 and across 1 to get to the uh, line again and that's exactly the same sort of movement we'd have to do to describe the gradient, the rise and run of the first two lines. Now you'll notice that it has a different number at the end and that's indicated by this uh, minus 5 is the y-intercept so that's created that minus 5 there. So you notice though all three of those lines, I'll turn each of these gradients blue here, it has a 2 in front of the x. That's the bit where the slope is. That indicates the rise and the run and uh, so there, that's the common element between those lines there. Parallel lines have the same gradient, they have the same rise over run. They just differ on that final number of the linear equation format because that indicates they've got a different y-intercept in each case. Okay, that's parallel lines. Hope that helps. See you next time. And for any of your maths video needs, if you want to check up on whether you know stuff or still remember things, uh, peterblakemath.com. See you next time.